At around 3 a.m. last September 18, artist Bree Johnson Agunod was seen exiting her hotel room at a resort in San Juan, La Union. She approached her boyfriend, Julian Ongpin, and was seen having a bottle of wine to drink. The two were seen being close together before having what appears to be an argument. Bree eventually returned to her room while Ongpin left the scene. This was the last time they were seen together. After an hour, Ongpin said he went back to check on his girlfriend, who at the time was no longer responding after locking herself in the bathroom. Ongpin tried to enter through the bathroom window, but then broke down the bathroom door instead, causing his injuries. Sinabi nakita niya ay naka nakigti, tapos tinanggal niya at uh, nilagay dun sa sa bed. That is uh, his recollection and uh, his statement. Based on the investigation, Ong Pin was heard screaming for help at around 4 a.m. Bree was then rushed to the hospital but was declared dead on arrival. PNP's crime laboratory found that Bree died due to asphyxia by ligature or being strangled around the neck. Strangulation na pwedeng mangyari talagang sinasakal ng kamay, pwede rin naman na nagbigti or pwede rin ng sambadi na talagang sinasakal siya. E pwede naman kasi pataas na nakahang, pwede rin pataas na inangat, di ba? The PNP still has not found any signs of foul play, but they are not ruling it out. Bree's drug test also came back positive. The National Bureau of Investigation started its own probe and has conducted a re-autopsy of the victim's body. Yung significance ng pagkuha ng uh, uh, part ng fingernails and toenails, baka meron doon na nakapaloob na uh, foreign object. Lawyers of Bree's family welcomed the PNP and NBI's parallel investigation. They strongly believe that Bree did not commit suicide. There must be uh, a force exerted upon the body of a person bago ka magkaroon ng magsuffer from hematoma or itong mga pasa. Bree's family has arranged for a brief funeral in Quezon City. They asked for privacy while they grieve the loss of their loved one. For News 5, Patricia Mangune, We Are One News.